In this chapter, we're gonna talk about the safety within the ring, and more specifically, we're gonna to touch on how to properly land in this ring in order to avoid injury. And similar to how kickboxers will constantly kick hard objects with their shin in order to better prepare them for combat, we do the same thing in wrestling, where we constantly land on our own will in order to better prepare ourselves for when we're in combat in the ring. So what we're gonna do is go over a couple ways how to fall, landing and spreading all your body parts that have in full impact across the body so you avoid pinpointing a pressure point anywhere across your back. Dylan is just gonna show you one of the many ways that you can land safely to avoid any serious injury. So show us right now. Okay, as you notice here, feet are flat, knees here bent at about a 45 degree angle. From his butt to his shoulders, everything in between is completely flat. It's important because you want to spread the impact all the way from toes to butt to back to shoulders, down your arms. And that way it takes an equal amount of punishment and avoids pinpointing any specific injury. Now, we all know that there's a chance that you might get picked up in any matchup being slammed from a distance upwards of six, seven, eight feet. One of the ones we practice, one of these falls, we can do it over a body, and that way you get more experience at falling from a greater distance. Jody here is gonna show us how you might protect yourself in a situation as such right here. You can see it, Jody. Just as before, notice the bend in the knees coming down to the feet, completely flat. Hands are spread out, palms down. Also a thing I didn't touch on earlier is your chin. Chin must be tucked. You don't want to have the back of your head smack that mat that can cause a concussion and there's no way you're going to win a match smacking your head and getting knocked silly. So again, just to overstress, you always want to land flat. Keep your chin tucked, palms down, feet flat, and that will spread all the impact to avoid any serious injury. We have a motto around here, and it's this. You want to attack the mat before the mat attacks you. And it seems to be working well because when you hit the mat hard, it's almost like you're preparing yourself for battle, whereas if you were to hit soft, you're not really helping yourself out for when the real deal comes. So remember to attack the mat before the mat attacks you.